Today's video will be the South Barn build by WAPTEC. Uh, this is a pseudo tutorial where I try to take over both barns on the server. In this case, I have a neighbor next door instead of a bunch of wolves. Normally the South Barn is utterly devoid of threat. So anyway, we line up with the dead center and this one's a bit different. Now that's only if the server lets me do it. I haven't checked yet. I've been on here just long enough to get the materials. Again, the slats in the floor, or planks, number seven to each side if you're on the dead center point. So if I count them as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, that would presume that if I duck down really quickly so I can go slower, and I kind of finagle it a little bit and wiggle back and forth, that if I do it just right, I'll be dead centered if I go right there because I can line up the spaces between the six uh, potential items I can click and put me eh, pretty close to dead center. And I'd be totally wrong. As you can see, if you look way down there, the right side of that opening, which is the left side from the outside, is pushed in. The base of the building is not centered with the actual building. Even though I'm under the dead center point, this building is not symmetrical it just enough off. So I want to be just barely over. So if I squat down and tap left, I go over about half a plank. If I go over here, I'm almost centered, go here about half a plank. Some distance to the right is good, if not mandatory. Now we'll switch over to putting down a single foundation. As you can see, it's red. Now depending on the server, this will let me do this. It's saying it'll let me do it. Now the thing is, this will be higher than it is on the north uh, barn. So I get a bit of height increase. Now right now I'm dead centering it because honestly it won't matter much. But the thing about this barn is you can pull much further back. And the foundation appears above the floor. Now if I do it with it sticking out just a bit, it, just a little bit, it would be better. So I'm going to do it like that. And I'm going to hit once for number one. Even though I'm going to do multiple parts here, I put each part in its own slot for sequencing. Number two stands for each of the pillars. That one fuses to the wall nicely. And this one should clip into the wall and or be on the outside. Now we do number three for the door frame. Now I found out, I, uh, I forgot to notice this. When you have a door frame up, you can rotate it by running your scroll wheel. When you do that, it takes that one board, you can see it on the left now, and that decides where the hinge is for the door. I don't think it's important, but on the north build, I want it on my right when I'm doing this. But for this one, it doesn't matter one way or another, but I'll just put it the same way. Click. Now, at that point, we put in a door because we're sealing, and we slowly walk up to it to be as non-noisy as possible. And you'll notice I made a big fucking gap. See, it's just, you know, you're going to make mistakes. We fill that in by putting in walls later, but right now we're quasi-sealed. I hit E, excuse me, hold down E, and I can change, hold, hold down E, there we go, and I can change lock and give it a new lock number if the server wasn't lagging like crazy right now. That would be really nice. Uh, but anyway, I'll hit cancel and move on. Next, we turn around and we put down our next foundation. We should only need two of them. And unlike the previous build at the other location, we have plenty of, uh, excuse me. Oh, hold it down. There. Now, uh, we have number six. It stands for the rest of the pillars. We put them at the junction of the two few, uh, foundations. And then we go all the way to the end here and put in a, one here and one here, if it'll cooperate. There we go. Now, uh, one moment, please. I'm going to pause for dramatic effect, also because I'm going to whip out the other parts. So now we're going to put in our door frame, which I've slid into number one position, or number one slot for quick bar. Boop. We want that hinge on the left side, preferably. In this one, we don't have a hop-up made out of tires, but we're going to use what we got. Hitting number two, we get a door to put in, and it may or may not cooperate easily. It sort of cooperated there. That's good. And we immediately move forward and open it. 
And as you can see, we're going to use the top of that as part of our hop-up set. Unfortunately, because I don't have another foundation out here, dropping an ordinary box won't give us enough height. So we're going to do a little bit of a trick. We're going to go around. Onto this side. We're going to go to the door. Hit E to get it open. Go in here. And you'll find out that when you do this, a lot of the times you are not allowed to place a box. It'll say you can't place that here because it doesn't have a foundation under it or the admin made a decision. Anyway, let's, let's skip that. We're going to force a box stacked as a step up if we can. The only way I've seen to do it is to get it to, yep, you just saw it partially, is to get it to fuse in and be slightly above the ground because what it's seeing is a surface to add to is oddly enough the horizontal slats that the rest of the barn is built on. Now this is the funny part. We can just hop up here and just hop up there if we want to. But let's get in here and take advantage of the door acting as our next step. We hit E for op excuse me, closing it and then we open it again the other direction. Again we need the hinge either on that side. We actually put it on either side but I like it on this one because it keeps it consistent. So we hop up here now that it's dead dark. Sorry. And then we hop up here and I guess we'll have to just kind of imagine the rest. Here's number four. We put down a ceiling here, which we can then walk on, which you can barely see. And then I put down the next foundation, excuse me, not foundation, but floor or ceiling here, if it'll cooperate. Then I put down our uh, lighting in here. Then I put down our builder bench and I'm going to slide against the front of the building as good as I can. Now I'll just bring up all of this here and not bother doing the dramatic scene change and put everything back the way it's supposed to be so we can see everything that I was using. And yes, I destroyed an entire hatchet getting all the wood, which is pretty common. What we end up with is this. And since we have our bench, we can now craft things much more rapidly because we're within crafting range. We have the bench there, and all I have to do is hit this, force myself to slide over to where it shows that the bench is there, and then I bring this up and, well, I already clapped it, but you get the idea. Um, and we're going to put a box down. Always make sure you put down, as soon as you physically can, a crafting bench. And again, the positioning for our, excuse me, almost fell off. Okay, come on, come on, there we go. Okay, turning on the fire. Uh, we put our next box right there on the rails. That'll be number six. I'm gonna duck down while I do this and get it as close in underneath that little alcove or overhang as I can without clipping. I don't want it clipping through the walls because then it can be raided through the wall. Handy for me, but anybody else getting on the roof could do so as well. And that concludes our little build for the day. Um, it's uh, all done. Um, not much else to see in the video. I'm just going to put everything away really quick. What's that? A Raid Shadow Legends sponsor? Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, yeah. And no, this is a non-sponsored YouTube channel. I don't have monetization. And I tell you, do not rate, comment, or subscribe. Read the description and the links and blah, blah, blah in most videos. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. Go ahead if you want to. <laughs> um, also, by placing it this way, because it's higher, um, you have less room up here. You, you run your head into that bar. So this is not an ideal one. In fact, I prefer the other one, even though there's wolves nearby. But this one makes it to where it's really hard to fall through the floor space over here, although I think I can do it here. Let's see if I can fall through. Nope, no way. I'm fine. One of the added advantages is we can get up here and literally jump up sometimes. Let's see if I can get it to work now. Yep. Anyway, about half the time you can jump up there. In this case, 0% and uh, put boxes up there and that, that would be nice. But anyway, this will be your space. You put your uh, sleeping bag and where you hide, it's the most shielded spot. And that concludes building on the South Barn for your basically potentially Zerg base. And I'll put the amount of wood it costs in the description below. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.